Hey, he's telling you 100% right, brother. Give me right. John chapter 1 and 3, I believe. Because a lot of people hear this a lot, brother. We we come out, we too harsh. They want us to come out here and talk like Prince. Hey, brother, you ready to repent? Come on, brother, you want to stop smoking crack? You want to talk like the damn Jackson 5? Hey, Michael. Can I get a beer? You want to say something sweet? <laughs> no, we ain't come out here for that, bro. Right, no, we right. come out here to cry loud and swear not. Right, right. Like the brother said, we talking to a sick people. Right. And we got the medicine. Right, right. But the people reject the medicine. That brother right there, he tore up the flyer and threw it down. Because he rejected the medicine of God. But when they get 30 something below 30 tonight, they're going to be in the car with freezing somewhere praying to God. Right, right. Hey, bro, let me get a hit. Let me get a hit. You see what I'm saying? See, we out here with the solution, but y'all reject the solution. Listen to this. When you shine a light in a dark place, a lot of people ain't gonna like it. It's like roaches. Roaches don't like the light. They gonna run. Watch this. This is the book of First John, chapter one and verse three. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In him was life. In him was what? Life. So in him, talking about Christ, was what? Life. Was life. We're trying to give you the life. Right now you're dying as a people. Right. Listen. Right. And the light was the light of man. And the light was the light of man. Read. And the light shining in darkness. And the light is shining in darkness. The sun is out right now, but guess what? If you really look, the only light out here is us. The sun is only shining on us. Everybody else is riding around in darkness. They walking around in darkness. And we out here with the light trying to pour the flashlight on you so you can shine too. Right. But you don't want it. Watch this. And the darkness comprehended it and not. And the darkness did what? Comprehended it not. They didn't comprehend Christ being the light. They can't see us. They got eyes, but they can't see. They got ears, but they can't hear. They see us on the corner, they throw the fist up. That's what I'm talking about, brothers. Black power, woo! But they don't really see what we're doing. That we got the power in our hands to change the black man in this land. Listen. That's it, keep reading. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. So there was a man who was sent from God, his name was John. Give me John 3 and 3. Man, he's so deep. Watch this. Let's see what John said. Three and one. Bring it out. This is the book of John, chapter three and verse one. Bring it out. There was a man of the Pharisees. Three and three, three and three. Verse three. three. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again. See, you got to be born again, bro. See, Bobby Womack got a song. He says, Where do we go from here? So this is what the brother want to know. He said, We all out here. He understand he's an Israelite. He understand what we need to do. But where do we go from here? Right. And what you try? I, I've been listening to you on the sideline. Where do we go from here? All right, now listen. The Bible. I'm not gonna tell you. God is gonna tell you where you need to go from here. Listen. Barely, barely. I say unto thee. So he's saying, barely, barely. Surely, surely, I say unto you. What's your name? Frank. Barely, barely, I say unto you, Frank. Except a man be born again. Except you be born again. Listen, he cannot see the kingdom of God. He cannot see the kingdom of God. The light right here. We the kingdom of God standing right here on earth. Right, right. But you got to be born again to do what? To see it. Listen. Nicodemus said that to him, how can a man be born when he is old. He said, how can a man be born when he's old? Because Negroes think they know everything. Right. So Nicodemus like, man, I'm going to be born again. And, hey, hey, and he already old. Let's see what Nicodemus says. Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb? Can he crawl back between his mama's legs? And be born? And be born? What? Jesus answered, barely, barely, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water. So the man got to be born of the water. What is the water? Give me Ephesians chapter 5, verse 26. So you got to be born of the water. You got to be born of this water. You got to come get this water. You got to be thirsty. Right. Put the blue top down and come get the real water. Right. Put the right down and come quench your thirst with the real water. Put the party down. Put the Hennessy down. Put the Jack Daniels down. All right? 
Watch this. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter 5 and verse 26. Bring it out. That he might sanctify and cleanse it. So you want to be sanctified, set apart, and you need to be cleansed, brother. With the washing of water. With the washing of the water. By the word. By the word. Now go back. Now listen. So John told him, Nicodemus, that a man must be born again in order to see the kingdom. The kingdom is the black man in rulership. The Hispanic man and the Native American man ruling the earth in righteousness. Right now we are in slavery, we are in captivity. So if you want to see us rule the earth again, you must what? Be born again. And it's not talking about you crawling in between your mother's legs. It's talking about you doing something else. Listen, Jesus answered, barely, barely, I said to thee, except a man be born of water. So you got to be born of the word of God, which is that water. And of the spirit. And of the spirit. Give me the spirit right quick. Give me John 6, 6 and 3. You got to be born of the water and the spirit. Let's see what the spirit is that you got to be born again. Now, go ahead, bro. Look through it. Just keep your ears open. Because I'm going to answer your question. Just leave them on the ground and just look at it. Watch this. This is the book of John, chapter 6 and verse 63. It is the spirit that quickened it. The flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you. So the words that God is speaking to you right now, Mr. Frank, listen. They are spirit. They are what? They are spirit. So this is what you got to be born again with. Not going back into your mama's womb, but you got to be born of this spirit that, uh, which is the word of God. That's right. Listen. And they are life. So the, the word of God is spirit and life. This is what the black community needs. We are missing God. Okay? We are missing God. Christianity has messed our minds up. Islam has messed our minds up. Religion has messed the black people's minds up. And what we got to come out here to do now is teach you who you are. But when we teach you who you are, you're going to become that shining light. All right? Listen. Go back. It's the book of John, chapter 3 and verse 5. Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water. So you got to be born again. You got to be born of the word of God. And of the spirit. And of the spirit of God got to enter into you, Mr. Frank. He cannot enter into the kingdom of God. You cannot enter into the kingdom of God. I mean, you would not be a king on earth. You would not be in rulership when it's time for us to take this earth back. When it's time for all the other nations to go into captivity under the Israelites, under uh, the rulership of Jesus the Christ. Okay? That's the only way you got to renew your mind. Give me that Romans 7, uh, 12 and 2 right quick. And I'm going to let the brother come back up. Give me Romans 12 and 2. You said, where did we go from here? You, right now, you in the perfect spot. You in the perfect place. Because it starts with you. That's right. It starts with you. It starts with yourself, and this is what you got to do. This is the book of Romans, chapter 12, and verse 2. And be not conformed to this world. So you got to disconnect yourself. Detach yourself from this world. Right. And don't be conformed to this world. Stop hanging around with Joe Blow them over there drinking uh, uh, 40s and drinking Blue Top all day. Right. Okay, stop hanging with Joe Blow them over there looking for the next 10 minute high. Right. Stop hanging with Joe Blow them that's going back and forth to prison. Right. Stop hanging with Joe Blow them that don't know how and where they're going to get their next meal from. Right. Stop hanging with Joe Blow them that don't know how they're going to get some heat tonight. Right. You got to be, not be conformed to this world. But be ye transformed. So it's now it's time for you to be transformed. Oh, every black man right now, if you living and you got breath in your body, you got time to change. Right. You got time to conform. But black man don't want to conform. He right. want to complain about what he ain't got. Right. Right. Man, we ain't got this. Man, we ain't got this. Man, we can do this and we can do that. We can put our money and we'll just do this and do that. Right. Because he's sick. And we out here with the medicine to heal the people. And, one, and some of the medicine is, uh, 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 is realizing that you need to change, that you need to, you destroyed and you need to be changed. So he said you can't, can't be conformed to this world, but what? But be ye transformed. So it's time for you to change, Frank. That's where we go from here. Frank making up his mind and saying, you know what? Them brothers in the problem, I'm going to get with them. I'm going to get their number. I'm going to call them. I'm a call. I want them to come get me. I want them to take me to their service. I want to clean myself up. Right. I want to be washed with the word of God. That's right. And that's where, that's where we go from here. And then until you start to conform and change your mind, this one will be willing to help you. Right. You take one step, God gonna take two. That's right. Watch this. Right. Jeez, count.
but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So you got to renew your mind. And when you start to renew your mind, God is going to start to work miracles in you that you thought that would never happen. I heard you say earlier that you done done so much you think you're going to get punished for it. No, that's what Christ died for. He died for you. Give me that. Give me uh, 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 Acts 13 and I think it's 38. Yeah, well, watch this. We all done see it. We all done messed up. Someone messed up this week. Someone might have messed up this morning. But what? Christ died for you. All you got to do is believe now. You ain't got, you got some bulls, you got some, uh, you got some cattle at home, you got some turkey, turtle dove, you ain't got nothing to kill to go sacrifice. Right, so guess what? You got to believe on Christ to get that forgiveness now. Watch this. This is the book of Acts chapter 13 and verse 38. Break it out. Being known unto you. So it said, being known unto you, Frank. Therefore, man and brethren, that through this man, so now through this man, talking about Jesus the Christ, the black Messiah, we ain't talking about that punk, punk, punk ass white boy. With blue eyes and long brown hair that the white man told us was Jesus. That ain't who the Bible talking about. You ain't got to go to him for nothing. All right, listen. Through this man is preached unto you the forgiveness of sin. So now you can get forgiveness of sin no matter how many times you done messed up. All right, no matter how many, how many things you done done wrong, man. It don't matter. How many people you done killed? How many people you done sold rocks to? How many people you done sold heroin to? How many people you done robbed? How many people you done stole from? It don't matter once you start to renew your mind and come back into the body of Christ. That's right. He's gonna forgive you for, for, for all of that. That's right. Is that it on that? Read. And by him, all that believe. It said by him that all that what? Believe. All that what? Believe. What it means to believe. How you know you believe on Christ? At him, when you stand in front of what the word in this church. Right, give me believe, give me Sirach 32 and uh, 24, 32 and 24, 32 and 24. See, we're going to go to the Bible and show it what it means to believe. It's, it's to all him, them that believe. Let me show you what it means when you know you really believe in Christ. If you really believe in God, let me show you something. Listen, this is the book of Sirach chapter 32. In verse 24. He that believeth in the Lord. So he that believeth in the Lord. Listen. Take it heed. Take it what? Take it heed. You're going to listen. You're going to take action. You're going to take heed to the commandment. To the what? To the commandment. To the commandments of God. That's how you know that you're following the one true God. That's how you know you believe in God. So in order to get forgiveness of sin, it said that you must believe. So in order to believe, you got to keep the commandments. So if you want forgiveness from Jesus the Christ, you must keep the commandments. That's right. Listen. And he that trusted in him shall fail never the worse. All right, go back. Read. On the top. All right, come out. Come out and, and, uh, and listen, sis. Come out and listen. Bring your son with you. Bring your nephew, bring your son, bring your cousin. Whoever, y'all need to pull over and listen. Don't just say you love us, you need to love God. Because guess what? We ain't got no kingdom to put nobody in. Right. It don't matter if you love me. You got to love God. Because if you love God, you're going to love me. So don't holler at the ones I love you. No, you need to say you love God first. Right. right. And if you love God, you'll come hear God's word. That's right. Listen. This is the book of Romans, chapter 12, and verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So that's where we go from here. You start to change your mind, Frank. You start to change your mind. You start to look at brother who's going over repentance. You humble yourself and took your head off because you start, you start to change. I have a question. What's your question? Uh, the next question is, what if we as people, you know, we already out here messed up, we're in turmoil and, and, and and we still have to praise God in all things. He said, praise Him in all things. Look for God in all things. But at the same time, man, if you got a special group of people out here, which is us, you know what I'm saying, that has the spirit of Jonah. Has the spirit of what? Jonah. God told him to go somewhere and preach the message. 
but they don't. So that's when, you know, testimony comes in, man. Yeah, he told Jonah to do something Jonah didn't do, he threw him in the belly. Man, that's where you at now, in the belly. He spit him out where right. he needed to go, though. Right, that's what I'm that's saying, though. Spirit. Right now you in the belly, and God trying to spit you out. Right. Don't worry about them, worry about Frank. Right. You said the mouth full right there, see. Jonah didn't want to obey God. Just like, you don't want to obey God. Right. Jonah got put in the belly of the whale for three days. You in the belly of this beast, been over here almost 400 years. You in slavery. Now God trying to spit you out. Bring it out. Where he wants you to be. See, don't worry about them. Now you in the right place to understand that God trying to spit you out. Do you understand the belly of that beast? Do you understand the belly of this beast? Or are you ready for God to spit you out and you ready to do what God command you to do? That's what the whole book of Jonah was about. You being disobedient and going and, 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 and to a certain place for a certain dispensation of time and God was going to spit you out and you was going to get out and do what he wants you to do. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.